Okay, hi. So we are going to continue on with the value scale section. Before we begin, I have you um, write a little line here and the word color, words color scheme. I want you to choose a color scheme. We didn't talk a lot about this. There is a handout for it. We'll, we'll go over it in class. I'm going to give you a quick kind of mental way to, to consider and conceive of a color wheel. So we'll put this aside. All right. Our primary colors. We're going to put yellow at the top. And I'm going to draw a triangle. When we, our color wheel is a circle, right? That circumscribes this triangle. So we have our primaries here. We have yellow, and it really doesn't matter where you put it. We have red, and for our purposes, we're not using red, we're, we're using magenta, right? And we have blue, but again, we are using cyan. So this forms our primary triad. On a color wheel, these, this triangle is equilateral, equal sides, equal angles. If we were to divide this up into sectors, this is a 360 degree circle. These would all be 60 degrees apart from each other, right? If we divide this further into another equilateral triangle, this time going upside down, we have now our secondary colors between blue and yellow is green. Between yellow and red is orange. Between red and blue, of course, is violet. So this equilateral triangle is our secondary colors. Between our primaries and our secondaries go the tertiary colors. Now I would have had you draw or paint and draw two colors between each of the primary and secondary colors. These two colors are called intermediate colors or tertiary colors. So between these two, you have your tertiary. So between yellow and green, we have two colors. We have a yellow green and a green yellow. Right? This green is more green. This green yellow is more green than the yellow green. So on and so forth. We have a green blue. And one more orange, yellow, and yellow, orange. Why, oh why do we need, what's the difference between an orange, yellow, and a yellow, orange? Do we really need to know? Yes, you do need to know. I mean, technically, you can have an infinite amount of colors between orange and yellow. Is it a little redundant? It depends on what you're doing. But for our purposes in class, I would say yes, and a yellow, orange is different than a, an orange, yellow. So split hairs, maybe, I don't know. Um, but it's good practice to paint and, and learn how to mix subtle differences. This is why I had you guys do it. Although this year we skipped it. So I will expect you to still know this, however. So if on a final exam or some sort of test, I ask you to come up with a color scheme or write a color scheme for me, say, give me a split complementary color scheme. You don't have a color wheel to use. You will have to draw this. I would like you to practice this now. Okay. I'm going to stop here. would like you to use your uh, memory and draw it from your head without looking at these notes and see if you can do it. Check your work. Look at the, this result. See if you got it right. Here it is a little closer up so you can see it better. We have the primary triad, the secondary triad, start with those. Once you have the primary and the secondary, draw a line for each tertiary or intermediate color. 